Tension in Imo community as hotel owner military personnel allegedly tortured Walker to death. One Mr. Ebuke Umaneri, who works at our guest hotel in Umulogo community, Obo local government area of Imo state, has been confirmed dead after he was allegedly tortured by his boss and owner of the hotel, Ibe Obasi, in company of a military personnel and unidentified person. According to a source in the community, the deceased was accused of stealing a mobile phone belonging to a military personnel who came to the hotel for relaxation. The hotel's, the source said the incident happened on Friday when a military personnel who was posted to Oboe local government visited the hotel for relaxation. He was said to have plugged his phone to charge when he went missing. The source said the owner of this phone that led to this whole crisis is a military person posted to Oboe local government for community secretary security. One of the military men is the owner of the phone and I don't know his name. He went to that hotel for relaxation and his phone was missing. It was the military personnel and Ibe Obasi, the hotel owner, and one other to- person that tortured the deceased. He was locked up in a generator, generator house where he died. The military officer is the owner of the phone that got lost. They suspected that it was him who took the phone because he came there and left. They called him and when he came back, they started torturing him, locked him at the generator house. That was where he died. The incident was has thrown residents of the community into a state of anger as they demand justice. When the Whistler contacted the Imo State Police Command and Spokesperson, Henry Okoye, he said, The command is on top of the matter and have been able to arrest one suspect and we are doing everything possible to arrest another suspect that are linked to the murders of the young man. A commissioner of police condemns the gruesome murder of the young man and the circumstances surrounding the death and the young man and all the suspects arrested would be made to face the law. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this. Now, let's see what other people have to say about this. This is one of the humiliation we face daily in the hands of security agencies, particularly those posted in the Eastern Igbo land axis. They kill our people on slight provocation. At their checkpoints, they bring down our people from every Omarshal vehicle while still collect bribe from the drivers. They are not ashamed to exchange cash with drivers. The eastern region is treated as a conquered region. But one day, the wickedness of the wicked says the Holy Bible must come to an end. Can a Boki man do this thing to his brother? Chai, because of ordinary fun, the, man of this, the life of this young man was wasted. His blood will haunt you forever. Can the phone replace this man for his parents and family? The military in Nigeria has become toys in the hands of every rich man. How can the military be involved, involved in civilian issues, if not because of money and lack of discipline? The military in Nigeria turning to ordinary neighborhood watch that can be used by anybody who wishes. Before now, soldiers were disciplined, respected, and honorable people. But today, soldiers do the works of market security, therefore making them lose the fear and love people have for them. Nigeria is lost with no hope of soul. If this news is true, then I can confirm to the general public that the officer in question will face the law. After arresting them, Unago still realized them, Abi. May God have mercy upon you. With the way justice is to the highest bidder in the in the in this country, I doubt if the culprits will be brought to book. The case will be swept under the carpet, like many others before it. God's protection from oppressors is all we pray for in this country. Evil people 
everywhere looking for whom to suck his blood. It is a pity he was suffocated by the carbon monoxide from the generator. Was that your stupid name? You are not normal at all for comparing a human life with a toy. If both of them don't have the intention of killing, they have arrested him first and interrogate him before conclusion. While looking for culprits when you already know whom they are, the owner of the hotel and the military officer. Now that an army personnel has killed a civilian, we should burn the defense headquarters as the army did Okoma. They should shut down the Hotel Infinity because the owner is a cultist that uses his workers for sacrifice. The hotel owner should not have allowed such punishments. They know it will result to death inhaling CO2. He would have inhaling carbon monoxide. He would have regretted that act. Haba, your fellow man, because of handsets or phone, no CCTV in the hotel and they suffocated his staff to death in such an inhumane way. I pray justice will have his way. Nobody is above the law. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified and upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this.